um, let's go to our second view controller and create a function for the button to uh, react to. And we'll call this one go to view one. And inside of that view controller, we will write the actual function. Go to view one. And I could do another print. I, I do this sometimes just so that I, I know that things are working for a debugging type of thing. Okay, now that we've declared a function in the second view controller, since we have everything wired up correctly, if we select the button here, oh, lovely. This uh, screen capture software is making it as difficult as possible on me here. Okay, now when we select the button, if we drag the from the touch up inside action of the button to the file's owner, we should see the go to view uh, one function that we created. Okay, and then you will see it uh, update here. So save that. Okay, so now we have our interface uh, totally connected the way it should be. So now what we need to do is, the next step gets a, a bit complicated. There's a lot of code to write here. What we need to do is, the, um, the view controllers will respond to the button clicks of the interface. But the view controllers cannot handle the animation commands themselves. The app delegate is the one that can do the animation. So what we need to do is, when we go to um, the function under the view controller, when we click the button on the first view controller, for example, we uh, access the go to view to um, function, what we need to do is send a message to the app delegate to actually do the animation for us. So what we need to do is we need to create an instance of the app delegate inside of this um, view controller and then send it a message to go to its own, to do its own animation function. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build some functions in here under the app delegate. And again, I have to I have to declare them. And I'm going to call this uh, go to one and oops go to two. All right, these are our two functions. And then we will go ahead and we will put these in here. Go to one. Okay, so now we have some functions inside of the app delegate that we can access. Um, so what we're going to have to do next is inside of the view controller, first thing we have to do is import the uh, app delegate for our program. So to view test app delegate dot h. If we don't do this, we're going to start getting some errors. Uh, now we need to go into the uh, action. I'm going to copy some code from a previous uh, version of this function. Okay. So we need to create an instance of the app delegate. And now this I, I took from a different uh, program, so I need to change these names here to view test app delegate and uh, I need to do the same thing here okay so what this does is let me save and build and we succeed good okay so what I had to do was import the app delegate header file into my view controller.m file and then inside of the function I needed to create add these two lines of code uh, to view test app delegate star main delegate equals to view test app delegate UI application shared application delegate. All right. So what that does is it creates an instance of the app delegate called main delegate. So now we can send um, we can send commands to the app delegate. And what we're, the command we're going to send is main delegate go to two. So when you click on the button, it's going to access this go to view two. Uh, act, uh, function, which in turn is going to call the main delegates uh, 
go to to function. Okay, so let's open up the uh, our app delegate, and the next thing we need to do is we need to create interfaces, um, outlets, and whatnot to access the uh, second view controller because we're going to need to use the second view and second view controller to animate to those. All right, let me go to my app delegate here and make sure that I have everything right. Okay, so I'm going to, I think the first thing I'm going to need to do here is declare the class second view controller. Nope, I think I'll just import it. Let me declare the class first. Second view controller, all right? We have to register that class here so it knows that that class exists and we're going to use it. Then we need to create an IB outlet for it. The instance name will be second view controller with a small s. And then we need to access its properties. Let's try building this. We succeeded, but we succeeded with warnings because we haven't, we have not yet started uh, declaring um, the uh, how we're going to use this second view controller in our at delegate.m file. Let me go to the .m file here and make sure I'm doing everything right. So the next thing I need to do is I need to synthesize the second view controller. The instance, not the. Uh, let's build that, and okay, we're okay with that. 